Hi, welcome to Simply NAS Media. My name is Sam, and today we have the new QNAP TBS 682. Now we'll go ahead and get start unboxing this one here. So we're going to turn this around. Of course, we have the lock tab, the outer flap, the inner retention flap, and then these two inner retention flaps to expose the unit itself. Now inside we have the accessories pack. We'll go over here in a few minutes. Get a little better view of the inside here to actually show off the NAS a little bit more. Now, go ahead and get to unboxing this one. Of course, for the safety of the NAS, we'll go ahead and lay the box here on its side. And we'll go ahead and put the box over, easing the unit onto the table very gently. Go ahead and lift the box. Exposing the NAS. Now you notice hidden in everything is also the power cable for the unit. So just give me a moment here. I'll go ahead and unpackage this one, and we'll be right back. All right. So now that we have this unit unpackaged, uh, you notice first off, this unit doesn't look quite like the other NASs that QNAP makes. Uh, main difference is this is a six bay unit. Uh, you have two SSDs. And you have four HDDs that you can also mount SSDs into. Um, this side over here, it's not removable. You can't really move that. That's more for ventilation. Um, you have your, your LED indicators on this side. You have your power button and your one-touch copy. Now, the drive trays are a little bit different. They have a locking feature with this particular little blue tab that you can lock and unlock. And you'll notice one thing. These drive trays are now toolless. There's no screws to mount. They simply use little lock tabs inside in here to lock the drive into place. Now, on the HDD side, these are a little different. They're still toolless, but you now have clips on the side that you can remove. Then once you have your drive installed, you simply push these back into place and then reinsert the drive. Now, let's go ahead and cover the back here. On the back of the unit, the first thing that you'll notice is that there's four of these additional ports. Now, only two of these are functional, and that's these two here. Now, these are capable of running a 10 or 40 gig adapter card. You can also use them for the PCIe, uh, the NVMe uh, SSDs as well. Uh, or you can also use them for video cards that are compatible with the unit. On the back of the unit, you'll also notice that there's two audio inputs for microphones. There's an audio output. You have four uh, USB 3 ports. You'll also have four 1 gigabyte Ethernet ports. And you'll also have three HDMI ports. Now, these are a little bit different because this one, the bottom one here, is actually uh, HDMI, it's a 2.0, where these top two are HDMI 1.4B. You also have one large fan back here in the back, uh, and you'll also have your power port connection and your on and off switch for the unit. Now that we've covered the features externally on the unit, let's go ahead and cover the accessories pack of the unit. We'll be right back. All right, so as we were unboxing the unit earlier, we had a few extra components bags that were also within the, the packaging as well. Uh, one of those was the power port for the unit, and then the accessories pack. Now, in the accessories pack, you pretty much have everything you'll really need to get the system up and going. Um, you'll have one pack here that'll have screws for the SSDs that can be mounted into the HDD uh, drive trays. You'll also have the heat sinks for the M.2 uh, memory cards that can be put into this unit as well. And you'll also have four Ethernet cords. Oh, if I can grab them all at one time here. Got all four of those to help put your, your new NAS device into your network. And you'll have the remote control for the unit. Plus the QNAP Quick Start Guide 
to help you get started using the NAS system. Now that we've covered the accessories pack, let's go ahead and discuss some of the features about the unit. Some of the features of this NAS uh, does come equipped with M.2 slots, so you can add those in for additional memory cache if you'd like. Uh, the system is also capable of QVPC, which is a new function specifically, uh, or excuse me, exclusively to QNAP itself, where it basically allows you to take this unit and turn it into a PC for home use, uh, you can use it for business use if need be. Um, and the system is also capable of application partitioning. If you have any other questions, feel free to let us know. Leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and hit like. If you want to stay up to date with the latest new videos we have coming out, go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave comments below. Um, or you can give us a call at 407-960-4690. Uh, or you can send us an email at sales at simplynas.com. Thank you for watching. So I'll see you guys later.